In this video, I'm going to teach you the cheapest way to complete the gas station in Dawn of Zombies Survival. The gas station in Dawn of Zombies is not as hard as the warehouse, but it is still an aberration zone and is therefore both a challenge, but also offers really good rewards for completing that challenge. So you can see here that I'm starting out with three rebar spears, a bow, and 20 throwing knives. I also have a few bandages. Obviously, you want to sneak up on people. It does cost energy to sneak up on people, but it saves you a ton of resources. So go ahead and do it. If you guys have not seen my video on how to get lots of energy in this game, make sure to check it out. You need the throwing knives here to kill the fireflies, and they also drop some pretty good artifacts, so it's worth killing them. Sneak up on this charn rover over here, and then sneak up on this guy over here. And then I should have stuck up on that guy and this guy as well. Okay, once you kill enough of the roamers, you will eventually get the key that you're needing. There are certain quest items like this little disk drive and and so get them obviously when you have that quest. If a car alarm goes off you will have several things attack you so go ahead and just take them out. Again lots of sneaking up on people. It's going to require using energy to sneak up on those people but you should not have any problem having enough energy. I like to use cheap explosives to kill these guys. They're pretty easy to get at the besieged house and other places, so. And after that, you can use the key. After you've disabled the alarms, you use the key to open this. These guys in the house hit a little bit harder, but it's nothing that you can't handle with your rebar spear. Any type of food item is a great healing source in this case. You don't need a lot of healing, so whatever food items you have in your base, go ahead and just use those. Once you clear this, then use the bomb for these two guys. I like using those explosives because the AoE damage does, you know, it does a lot of damage quickly, which prevents them from hitting you a whole lot, which saves you on armor and healing. Then you do need this level one ax to cut down this door, uh, which is what allows you to get to the roof. It's a really important part of it. It's also important to go ahead and clear out every room, especially because there are items throughout this building that you need. For example, this flashlight, which you need to be able to come and talk to the gunslinger. And he gives you the key to open the back of the building, which gives you access to the boss and ultimately the best prizes in the gas station. So once you open the door, go ahead and sneak around over here and kill this charred roamer. You also need to kill this guy. Then grab your throwing daggers and kill this firefly and at this point you are ready to fight the boss the reason we snuck over here is because we didn't want to fight this guy too early we wanted to be able to come over here and fight it with a bow it's important of course to have your bow right now which if you don't have an improved bow you can do this with a normal bow it's just a lot slower keep in mind that he has two health bars so when his health goes all the way up it's normal he just has two health bars so all right, then switch back to your spear. Once you kill the boss, you can loot the guy's floating UAZ, which you will get some push and pull. Push and pulls are an awesome artifact that you can either trade at the warehouse for a weapon, or you can trade it at the union trader for hemostops. Lastly, there is a storyline attached to the gas station, and after you complete it about 20 times, you will unlock Nasta's stash, which has a really nice backpack for those of you who are free-to-play players, which you should have gotten one of these backpacks on your 14th day, but maybe if you lost it, it's really nice to have another one. It also gives you two really good guns and 20 push and pulls. So this is a really good stash. You can trade that in for a lot of really good stuff. And when you're done, your inventory should look kind of like this. We used our ax, one and a half rebar, hardly any of our bow, and 11 of our throwing knives. And we ended up getting five push and pulls, and a bunch of really awesome loot. So that's how to complete the gas station at a low level. If you are above level 52, the gas station changes quite a bit, but I have a feeling that if you're over level 52, you aren't gonna have that much trouble with the gas station. So if I'm wrong on that, and if you guys that are above level 52 want a tutorial on the gas station, please put it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Also, the devs of DOZ are offering another giveaway. These are the most generous devs I've ever met, so they're doing another giveaway for you guys. This giveaway has 10 winners. Each winner will receive a SPASA 
Cobra, a Glock A Pyro, a AKM A Bloodsucker, an SVD A Verdict, and an Electro Musket, and 500 gold. So <laughs> a lot of really good weapons, a lot of legendary weapons, and 500 gold. And all you have to do to be eligible for this prize is to like the video and subscribe. I did not make these rules, these are their rules. Um, but I, I'll go with it. <laughs> you have to like the video, you have to subscribe, and you have to leave a comment with your player ID. For those of you who don't know how to do that, you just click the settings button in the top left corner, and then you click this copy button, and then it will copy to the clipboard, and then come over here on YouTube, and on the comments, click paste. And then by clicking paste, it'll show up in the comment, and that's all you have to do. You do have to be at least level 10, but you just have to like the video, subscribe to this channel, which is their rules, not mine, and you have to make a comment on this video with your ID. I'm gonna then pick 10 random winners from that and I'm going to announce that in two days on a community post on this channel and then even if you don't see that community post because I already have your IDs I'm just gonna send it to you so all you have to do in the next 48 hours is like subscribe and put a comment with your ID and then 10 winners will be selected and it'll just show up in your inbox so if you play DOZ or if you want to play DOZ it's really easy to get to level 10 you can do that real quick and then send a comment and you can get all of these amazing rewards. So I definitely recommend it. All right, guys, see you next time.